What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another episode of the Darren McDonald Be a Pro Series for NHL 23. If you haven't already, scroll down, hit that like button. And this one, we are finally starting to produce points. We're up on the second line. Everything's going great. We want to get back on that power play. Apparently, we're not on it anymore. Uh, but to start things off in this episode, we are going up yet again against the Arizona Coyotes, the worst team in the National Hockey League, and we are climbing up the standings. So I'll see you guys on the ice at the halfway point of this one. All right, so that's how you want to start off a damn video. Taylor Hall's got two goals in the simulation. He is our line mate on that second line. He already has two goals. We're up three to one on the Arizona Coyotes. So who knows? Maybe D to the measle has got himself uh, an assist. Maybe two. I don't know. I didn't see who got the assist, but we got some four on four action with 10.05 to go in the second period. Here we flipping go. We got Yanmark as our center. All right, turn him back. Get her back to Pissick. Back to Yanmark. I'm on the other side of the ice. Coming down. Can Yanmark hold on to it? He does, kind of. Oh, my. No, oh, man. But he was, he was rushing the net, and then he just, like, stopped suddenly. All right, back it off. Back it off. Grizzly gets that one over to Pissick. In front, Yanmark. He gets knocked off, and he's not going to be able to hang on to that one as Travis Boyd gets it out and down the ice. Look at this. Good sticks, but damn it, Nachushkin is able to hold on to that one and hit a stick on its way to the net. We're watching our point guy. We're watching our point guy. Matta. Oh, I went down for a block and it already had gotten blocked. So here we go. Grizzly. Wow. Gets that one up. And Charlie Coyle. Oh, my God. Get open, somebody. <laughs> we got a power play for a couple seconds. So if we want power play time, this is how we're going to have to get it. Pasta to Grizzly. I'm rushing the net. Rushing the net. Pasta gets it across. No, wasn't able to hold on to it. I freaking. <laughs> I screwed up. All right, nice try by Pasta. We got to get off the ice. Boom, that's a good way. Oh, J.J. Moser. Get out of here, buddy. Charlie Coyle with a nice face-off win. Woo, gets her back to D-Mac. D-Mac, turn him back. Drops it off for Lindholm. Hampus Lindholm is not able to hang on to that one. Unable to keep it in the zone. And here comes Frank the Tank. He walks in. Nice stop by Jeremy Swayman. Kraus, knock it off him. Take it. Take it, Mac. Come on. <laughs> Chuck McAvoy, we're turning around. We're just trying to get it out of our own zone. Oh, my God, Lawson Krause wide open in front. And Jeremy Swayman had a little trouble finding that one. Soderstrom, long shot, nice block by Taylor Hall. Oh, and I got that one knocked off me like absolutely nothing. <laughs> trying to get that one back, and McAvoy picks it up again. He seems to have a lot of trouble. He picks the puck up and then completely dead stops. Let's backhand that one. Can you get there, Halsey? Nicely done, buddy. He's just trying to get out of the way. He's just trying to find his way in. Round behind the net. There's Coyle in front. No mistake that time, baby. 11th goal of the season. We got a 4-1 to one lead. There it is. Just get to that other side of the net and wait for the magic to happen, baby. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. What a great goal. Look at this. Coiler finds me on the other side. Finally didn't fumble it. <laughs> so we pick up our 11th goal of the season already. Oh, wow. I thought I was absolutely positive the second period was about to be over, but not quite. And Pierre Engvall gets it to Barrett Hayden, who's just going to toss that one down the ice. We are on the power play. It is bothering me in NHL 23 how when you're on the power play, it like almost never shows like how much time is left on the power play. Wait, 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 wait. That was risky. All right. Nicely done. Chuck McAvoy gets that one up to d -Mac. Can we hang on to it? Not really. Poke it past him. No. We ended up just taking a hit behind the net. J.J. Moser. Has that one all tied up, but now the second period is going to end, and we are looking real, real good. So, put 20 minutes back on the clock as always. Wow, yeah, it's, we are we are looking pretty damn fantastic, but uh, the thing, that second period took a very, very long time to get through. <laughs> I just realized I'm looking down at, like, my timer, and I'm like, holy crap, we've been filming for a long time already. All right, Capitan, what are you, what are you saying to me, baby? Darren, we're in control. Don't let your foot off the pedal, but let's not get too fancy. The last thing we need is for them to get back in this game. I hear you, coach. I'll make sure we play smart and come away with the win. I think we're pretty much a lock to win this one at this point. But I, I hear you. I hear you, buddy. Actually kept, he held the zone, but they were still able to get it out, and that's Clayton Keller getting it to Boyd. Boyd finds Keller. Keller's coming into the zone. Don't let him in too easy. Oh, nicely done, Mata. I can't take the puck off him, but... I think there was enough, uh, I, I was giving him enough of a rough time there that he wasn't able to get a, uh, an accurate shot at the net. So I do think that helped quite a bit. Here we go. Halsey, you got to hang on to this thing, man. Moser loses that one. D-Mac picks it up. Here we go. T. Halsey. Oh, he was right across. What a poke check by Darcy Kemper. 
and they are coming all the way down the ice. Clayton Keller again loses her to DMAC, gets it up to Halsey. We're getting late in this shift. Halsey, don't just don't just let them take it off you, like you always do. Soderstrom in behind the net. Oh man, I noticed the pickups now are like not as good anymore. Halsey loses that one. Soderstrom right in front of the net. Hang on to this thing. Come on, get in tight, get in tight. Big shot, nice stop, and Coil almost gets the rebound. All right, we're just waiting on that other side of the net. Yet again, get it in front. Halsey's got it. Big shot, took a hit. Kemper saves it and covers that up. T. Halsey, that one's loose in front. It's bouncing all over the place. What do we got? Taylor Hall and Travis Boyd behind the net. But it is the Arizona Coyotes that are going to be able to come away with this one. Look at this. We're just blocking so many passes, but Jakob Chikrin ends up getting through, and he actually just dumps it down the ice. Derek Forbort gets that one up to Connor Clifton. Up to Taylor Hall. What a feed by Halsey. d -Mac cutting across. What a shot. What a goal. Second of the night, 12th of the season for D to the Measle. Oh, baby. What a flip and stretch pass by Taylor Hall. That was the assist of the night, I tell you. I just, oh, it's not going to show the pass. That pass was the best part of the damn goal. <laughs> oh, well, oh, well. We have a 5-1 to one lead on the Arizona Coyotes. Oh, Coach is going to be loving us right now, baby. Give me that primary line score. Impressive snapshot to bury it. Thanks, Coach. Yep, primary line score up by 50. That should also potentially get us back onto the power plate. Multi-goal night. Oh, the kids already got 12. I was trying to kind of get open for you. It didn't work. Oh, man. It's just a cluster now. All right. We're getting late in the shift. We better go. Oh, here comes Coiler. Into the zone. Big We scored! <laughs> Taylor Hall's got a hat trick, baby. <laughs> that is fantastic. T. Halsey had like six points in 20 games before we got up on the second line. And now he's got five. And three of them came in this game alone. Wow. Nice. Just a turnaround, like a blind turnaround wrist shot. Gets past. Who is in net? It is still Kemper. Wow. So what is that? Six to one lead. Simming down to our next shift. We got a simulation goal. What is it? Ah, damn. And it won't show me who got the goal, but Arizona puts one up. This will probably be our final shift of the night. It is a 6-2 to two game in favor of the Boston Bruins, baby. There we go, baby. All the way back down in the Arizona zone. And I did not aim that one properly. And Olimata was very easily able to get that one ahead and away from me. McAvoy with a pass. A blind pass to DMAC that was just off a little bit. And Lawson Krause bringing it back with Taylor Hall. Look at this guy, the steal and the, the, the puck protection. And Charlie Coyle gets his ninth of the season. <laughs> wow. DMAC had no part of that. I do not care. Multi-goal game from this guy. Taylor Hall is having himself a damn night, though, man. I think Taylor Hall has like a five-point game. Something crazy like that. He has three goals. And I think he got an assist on my goal. Both of my goals, actually. So, yeah, no, he might have, like, a six-point night. <laughs> I was hoping he was going to kick it somewhere. He steals it away. There you go. Taylor Hall coming back in. Going for number four. Nice shot and a big save. Frankie V, lose this thing, buddy. Here we go. Right in front. There's Coiler again. Just wide. Where are we going with this? Right out in front. Dooley hat tricks. Whoop, no, took a hit. Kemper makes the save. We're pretty late in our shift now. We might actually be off the ice. And if we are off the ice, that's probably going to kill it. Yeah, we're off the ice. Look at these flipping grades, though, man. We outshot them 36 to 20 and outscored them 7 to 2. <laughs> and that's going to do it for the first game of the damn video. Not too shizabby. We needed that win. We're climbing the standings. We're doing good lately. Let's keep it up. All right, so after another great simulation, we are, what is it, 14, 11, and 3, or 14, 11, and 2, or something like that, so far this season. We're jumping into the 28th game of the year. Dobson, can we take it off him? No, Jeremy Swayman looking good, though, making saves. We won the last game in the simulation, 7 to 2 as well. There we go. Low shot on net. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I think I'm on a, I think I'm on the ice with DeBrusque right now, and Andrew Kopp. For the New York Islanders, boom, takes a hit. And Anders Lee is going to be able to bring that one in for the Isles. We're just backing off. Oh, yeah, what was that? What are you, like, what are you expecting to <laughs> happen with that? Oh, that one hits a stick and bounces. I was hoping to get that one. Oh, he's got no stick. Damn it. <laughs> I got pushed into Ilya Sorokin. Oh, we got a sim goal on the first sim. 
Oh, baby. Eric Howell puts it in to make it 3-2 to two for the Boston Bruins. Okay, man. This season's starting to look up. It was looking real bad at the beginning. It was looking real rough to start. Here we go. Gets it up to Charlie Coyle. We're finally back on our own normal line. Taylor Hall. I was I was actually kind of concerned to him. Like, oh, well, if I'm on a line with DeBrusque, is, does that mean, like, Halsey's out? Is he hurt? Did something happen? But it turns out, no. Nice little pass. We're going to turn back. Get away from my defenders. <laughs> Coiler, no, he tries to take a shot but gets hit by Oliver Wallstrom. J.G. Pajo. because <laughs> I love Pajo. There's Wallstrom, gets a shot on goal. Throw a nice little hit behind. We got it back. Oh, my, go come on. That was like the crappiest, glitchiest, crappy goal I've ever seen. Oh, my goodness. It really wasn't, but it was one of those like, eh, really, EA? <laughs> I don't know about that one. That's a questionable goal right there. Let's take a look. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, because of the stupid... Because <laughs> they took the presentation options away. All right, simulating on ahead to our next shift. Minute and a half to go in the second. All tied up at three. Not exactly what you like to see. Coiler stuck back in his own zone. Gets her up to Grizzlick. Grizzlick tries to hit D-Mac, and it makes it. It was a bouncing puck, but I very quickly lost it. That was Matt Martin. Matt Martin gets it to Cal Clutterbuck. J.G. Pajo tossing that one around. Oh, no, I couldn't get it, but, oh, we steal it away. Nicely done, nicely done. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't mean to do that. Damn it, that's going to be an icing. Yup. And he does have a winning record now, Anders Lee, in front of the net. That's no good. And is that Niederreiter? I think it is. Pajo gets it to Barzal, who tries to go for a backhander, and that does not work. Where are you kicking it? You're kicking it around the net. All right, baby. Coyle picks that one up. T. Halsey, I'm rushing. No, I, that's not going to work. Oh, we're still offside. Jesus. All right, that's going to kill the period. Boom! <laughs> There's a good way to finish off the second. Uh, we got the goal. We went up 3-2. to two. Then we, Here is the goal. There it is. Yeah, it was like, what a weird goal. I guess it wasn't that bad, though. So put 20 minutes back on the clock. Yet again, all tied up at 3 here at TD Garden, Boston, Massachusetts. Where we're hoping to continue our winning ways. And we got a power play. That is a great way to do that. <laughs> oh, Capitan wants to have some words with us real quick. As we're getting on the ice, Darren, we're putting the pressure on him. Don't stop now. I can do that, coach. I'll keep putting the pressure on him. So the challenge is pressure. Offensive zone draw. We're 0 for 3 on the power play. We're hoping to improve on that. Charlie Coyle to DeBrusque, McAvoy, oh, what a deflection by Charlie Coyle. We were both in front of Ilya Sorokin. He had no eyes whatsoever, but that, I believe, was a gorgeous deflection by Charlie Coyle right in front. Look at this. Gets it back to McAvoy. Tosses that one in, and oh, yeah, baby, that is what you want to see. I really love that they, like, improved deflections. They kind of nerfed them a little bit, but it's like the way they look is a lot nicer. And look at Chuck McAvoy. 28 points, and he is, like, number two in the NHL as well with assists with, like, 24 of them or 25 of them or something like that. It's wild. He's having himself a heck of a year offensively. d -Mac into the zone. Drop pass by, ooh, drop pass by McAvoy, but that one just goes high and wide. I'm back around behind the net. Tried to get it across to Taylor Hall, and that doesn't work right in front to Charlie Coyle. Brilliant feed. Oh, Halsey, you mean man. <laughs> Takes Palmieri down. And here comes Sallow for the New York Islanders. Kemeny gets it to Casey Sezikis down in his own zone through the neutral zone into Boston territory, but he's going to have a lot of trouble. Hampus Lindholm, amazing defensive play between Hampy Wampy and old D to the Measle. Stopping up. Ooh, there was a bit of a screen. I felt good about that one, but Ilya Sorokin's there to make a nice glove save. He did have that far side top corner was a little left open. And I was kind of behind Coyle, so I'm like, this one might have a shot. We might be able to do something here. But 12.03 to go in the game. We are ahead 4-3. to three. Nice win. McAvoy loses that one. Takes the hit. It's all right, man. You know what? Let's just whip this thing around the net to Charlie Coyle. I'm getting out in front. Ah, damn it. I didn't one-time it like I wanted to. I told him to one time, and it just didn't work out that way. And here's Sallow back in his own zone, trying to find someone to pass to. He gets it to Fifi Dobson, up to Ricky Martin. AC Sezikis gets it up. Oh, wow. Nice stop by Jeremy Swayman on the one-timer there in front. A lot of the times, those slot one-timers are flipping dangerous. But when it's someone like Matt Martin taking it, right, it's like I'm, I'm sure his shot accuracy isn't very high. <laughs> or no, it was that Sallow kid. All right, here we go. 
Stopping up. Other side of the net. Whoa, whoa. D-Mac. Okay, okay. Just know, let's let's not be costly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like the Chloe Sullivan series there in overtime where that's exactly what happened. They just nudge you by the blue line, and it's like you're just Tostitos, man. All right, here we go. Andrew Kopp trying to find a way out of his own zone. Look at the forecheck by Taylor Flippin Hall, baby. Fifi Dobson does get it up to Salo. Up to Wallstrom. We're getting late in this shift. And the New York Islanders are trying to put some pressure on. Oh, baby, let's go. I still got it. I still got it. I got around him, too. Here we go, baby. Right in front of the net. And, oh, what a save. Turn around. Reach for it, you dumbass. What are you doing? <laughs> I, like, pulled my stick up and, like, panicked. I was like, oh, my God. What do I do? Pellick gets that one ahead to Barzell. Barzell almost loses it, but he does get it back. That one's whipped around behind uh, the other side of the net. And D-Mac actually takes it off of Anders Lee with a big hit. Not easy to do. Wasn't he a football player? Taylor Hall. Oh, what, what a, what a one-man army here, man. Ilya Sorokin had to be sharp to stop that one. We're down to the final two minutes. And this is, like I said, guaranteed this is our final shift of the game. And who knows? Maybe we could get ourselves like an empty netter or something. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know if we're going to be on the ice that long, but it'd be nice if we were. Here we go. Charlie Coyle wins that one to D-Mac. D-Mac in front of the net. I, why am I not moving? Why am I just like not moving anymore? Jesus. Pelic hit me and then I just stood still. And just, like, watch the puck go away. <laughs> Pellet gets it to Anders Lee. Anders Lee gets it up to Nito Nieder Skeeter Eater. Up to Charlie McAvoy stealing that one away. Getting it back to Halsey. Hold on to her, buddy. Nice shot just wide of the net. I'm backing off for Lindholm. And it was a good damn thing I did. So, oh, Coiler gets it back. Nice shot T. Halsey with the rebound. How did you miss that? <laughs> you had, like, a wide open net. And he just, like, freaking sailed it over, out of play and into the crowd. And now we're off the damn ice. Gosh darn. Final minute. 13 off the clock, and we're going to take it. All right, 4-3 to three victory over the New York Islanders. I'll take that any day. This team is playing really, really well right now, and let's just keep that up, baby. So in the simulation, we got yet another win, 4-2, to two, putting us at 16-11-2. We're actually really quickly climbing the National Hockey League standings here. We've won four games in a row, and we are up 2 to nothing over the Columbus Blue Jackets. One second off the clock. Let's get on the ice. Let's get this thing started, baby. DMAC has, I believe, 13 goals on the season so far. Here we go. Nice pass. Nice pass. Get around, everyone. Oh, tried to get it back to Taylor Hall, but Oliver Bjorkstrand with a good stick there gets it up the ice. I didn't see who that was who had the puck. Trying to get it back out in front. We're all tied up behind the net. And Brandon, Brandon Carlo, forgot how to English again. Brandon Carlo gets it up to Charlie Coyle. Nice shot. Oh, the rebound came on the other side. I was, I was in too tight to the net. Otherwise, maybe that would have come down in time for me to actually get a piece of it. Grizzlick kind of cornered himself in his own zone. We got her up to Coiler. He's still got it. He's still got it. All right, stay on side. Coil, hold that thing. Well, oh, someone's about to die. Yep. <laughs> T. Halsey gets that one back to the point. Grizzly, I'm just trying to get in front of the net, kind of. Here I am. Ow, he just threw it at me. <laughs> I did, like, kind of a weird little dodge thing. Oh, trip. Wow, that was not a good idea. Oh, I'm going to cut you off. Boom. <laughs> Didn't knock him down, but I kind of made him stumble a little bit, and he lost the puck, and that... Number 91, I believe that is Evander Kane. <laughs> Evander Kane on the Columbus Blue Jackets with Johnny Hockey and Patty Line. All right, T. Halsey gets that poked off him. Oh, man, now we're behind the play. What a save, and oh, my goodness. <laughs> that is Allmark, I believe, right? Yeah, that I'm pretty sure is Allmark in the net. Here we go, Hampus Lindholm to uh, Charlie Coyle. We're down to the final 10 seconds of the period, and I wasn't able to hold on to that one. Bokity wokity loses that, and we can't do anything with it. Coiler, little backhander in the final second of the second period, and it's over. But it's okay, because we still have ourselves... Look at this. Boom! Just knocks her away. So, put 20 minutes back on the clock, as always, as we attempt to hold off CBJ here at TD Garden, playing a lot of games at home right now. Just hold them off and get our nice, lovely fifth win in a row. That might actually put us, like, right into a playoff spot. If we're not already in, like, a wild card spot. Oh, we got an offside right off the easy hop. That was Gus Nyquist. Gets it into the zone to Wierenski. Wierenski in front to Nyquist. Back to Wierenski. Big slapper off one of his own players. And Sillinger's having some trouble with it. Oh, no. Almost got myself in trouble there as well. 
Nice pass up to D to the measle. I'm trying to do something with it. How do I still have this? Oh, that was a bad feed. Poke it off him. Poke it off him. Knock it off him. There we go. Good plays by D to the Mac. Oh, Wierenski was right there. It's like when the puck landed on my stick, my stick was basically on his. Boom. Throwing some hits. Getting mean. Pull it out of there. All right, here we go. Zach Wierenski back in his own zone. Gets it to Cole Sillinger. Up to Alexander Texier. Texier bringing her through the blue line. But Chuck McAvoy and Charlie Coyle are both going to be there to get rid of that one. We were real tired when we took that hit, man. Not good. You know what? Nyquist. <laughs> Just kind of knock him away from him. I'm close enough to the bench. I got to get off. Oh, no. We got a simulation goal. What's going to happen? Oh, baby, Nick Felino puts her past Elvis Merzlikens, and we got a 3-0 lead over the Columbus Blue Jackets. I am so sorry, Taylor Hall. I literally just got in my own guy's way and basically took the puck off. <laughs> and here we go. Gavrikov gets it up to Jackie Boy. Seuss no legend, Jack Roslevic. All right, up to Taylor Hall. Oh, my God, I'm trying to get open. They're making it impossible. That was a bad pass. Bjork Strand gets that one from, I believe it was Voracek. And Carlo having some trouble getting it out of his own zone. Gets that one across to Charlie Coyle. I'm up the middle a little bit. I wouldn't try. Yeah, just take it. I set the pick for you, baby. T. Halsey with a little low slapper on net. Carlo. Halsey. Carlo. d -Mac can't get the shot off. Man, I was just in too tight with Buddy Guy there. I can't even, like, move Boone Jenner. <laughs> oh, who's this now? Oh, Line A in front. Oh, my goodness, Grizzlick. What a great defensive play to pick that one up. It was real risky. I have no timer for, oh, I got no timer for how long I've been on the ice, but I'm seeing the top line here, so I better, I better get the heck off. Oh, my goodness. So we're down. We're going to be way down into the final couple of minutes of this one. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Here you go Taylor Hall coming out of his own zone. Charlie Coyle is going to take that one, but uh, Columbus gets it right back, and Andrew Peak loses her to Charlie McAvoy, who is cornering himself. He literally just cornered himself, like, purposely. My goodness. Then kicked it around the wrong way. Cole Sillinger can't get the shot off. We got her, baby. Got it up to Coiler. Coiler, get out of the zone. Ugh. Stopping up. He's going to whip that one around the net. Bockfist is going to be there. Whoop. Oh, man, I ran right into that. Can we get it? Boom. Knock him off at Mersey. Going to be forced to cover up. No, he's actually going to play it, even though we were very close. d gets it back. Ah, tried to get the shot on net. Couldn't do it. Here we go. Behind the net. Bo Bockfist is having himself a real bad time here. Okay, D-Mac. I don't know how I'm able to hold this so long. Great shot. Far side, but he gets her with the blocker. Coiler in front. Oh, tried to get it back across, and it was no good. Down to the final 30 seconds of this game, and he roofs it. <laughs> they got past center, so there's no delay a game call. But I believe we're off the ice. Yeah. So defensively in team play, we did all right, but not so great offensively at the end of this one. That is going to kill the third and final game of this video. But we're going to go back to the main menu. We're going to do a little stats update because this video didn't take as long as I thought it would. Oh, the primary line score just keeps going up. We're playing well as a team, coach. We most certainly are. As soon as I got into that top six, it was like, dude, we're on a five-game winning streak. You know what I mean? Ever since I got on that top line, we've been looking a lot stronger as a team. All right, so 30 games into our first season. We got 13 goals, 9 assists, 22 points. Now, like I said, for a kid, that's pretty damn decent. I will take it. We're on a pretty good pace right now. We're on pace for, like, what, 57, 58 points. Marjan having a year. Pasta missed some games, but he's having a year. Mac, look at the assists. Oh, so good. Halsey really turned it around, man, too. D to the measle, 22 points. Coiler with 22. Look at this guy. I hate that it still says low elite, but we did grow to 73 overall, so that's cool. So in 30 games, yeah, we got 13 goals, 9 assists, 22 points, plus 13. Only 20 penalty minutes, so that's pretty good. 94 shots taken, 13.8% is what we be shooting. 84 speed. I actually didn't realize my speed was up that high already. But we got to wait. We got to save up those friggin'... Uh, we got to save up those trait points so we can get our accelerometer up there. Look at look at this team. It's like a lot of people are looking really good on this team. Very score by committee. Even like they, yeah, even like uh, Zach Aston Reese. You got those guys on like the fourth line. Some of them are looking pretty solid too. 
So not too damn bad. 17, 11, and 2. We're in 11th spot, and Florida is right behind us at 17, 13, and 2. But we have two games in hand on them. Anyway, that is going to do it for me for this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one. Anaheim poked out a victory in a tight one. We got to take a quick break, everybody, but we've got a lot more to get.